In this video, we will discuss Nelson syndrome. Few exam questions before the topic and get the answers after we've done the topic. So the question number one is what type of pituitary cells produce ACTH? Number two, how Nelson syndrome can be prevented in a patient who has to undergo adenectomy for Cushing syndrome and also has ACTH producing adenoma? Number three, what's the difference between micro and macronodular pituitary adenoma? Number four, in which zone of adrenal glands glucocorticoids are produced? Now let's discuss Nelson syndrome. So what's Nelson syndrome? Bilateral adrenalectomy to treat hyperactive adrenal cortex as in Cushing syndrome with pre-existing ACTH producing macroadenoma of a pituitary gland causes increased tumor growth and increased ACTH production. So it's a post-op effect of adenolectomy that causes pituitary to produce increased ACTH production and there is a pre-existing ACTH producing tumor. Why adrenal removal causes excessive pituitary tumor? Normally Cortisol has a negative feedback inhibition to suppress ACTH production. When cortisol is lacking as after adenolectomy, there is increased production of ACTH from the pituitary gland. So when after adenolectomy, cortisol is missing, pituitary tumor grows and it produces excessive amounts of ACTH. Clinical features of the Nelson syndrome Excessive growth of ACTH producing pituitary macroadenoma causes invasion because of growth and the symptoms. The so sign symptoms may be headache and visual disturbances like bitemporal amyenoptia in the pituitary tumors, hyperpigmentation and amenorrhea. Excessive ACTH production causes hyperpigmentation. Why? Because ACTH has MSH-like activity. So hyperpigmentation occurs in primary adrenal insufficiency due to adrenal disease or after adrenalectomy. Whereas abnormal pallor is a hallmark of hypopituitarism. So hypopituitarism there is abnormal pallor and hyperpituitarism there is hyperpigmentation. Now prevention of the Nelson syndrome. Nelson syndrome can be prevented by pituitary irradiation before adrenalectomy. Now answers to the questions. What type of pituitary cell produce ACTH? Granular basophilic pituitary cells produce ACTH. So what other hormones do they produce? They also produce FSH, LH and TSH. Whereas granular acidophilic cells of the pituitary they produce growth hormone and prolactin. How Nelson syndrome can be prevented in a patient who has to undergo adenolectomy? Pituitary irradiation before adenolectomy can prevent the development of Nelson syndrome. Number three, what's the difference between micro and macronodular pituitary adenoma? Microadenoma are less than 10 millimeter and macroadenoma are more than 10 millimeter. They may be secretory or non-secretory. In secretory adenomas, hormone production depends on the cell type. In which zone of adrenal glands glucocorticoids are produced? Glucocorticoids are produced in zona fasciculata, whereas mineralocorticoids are produced in zona glomerulosa, the outer zone, and androgens are produced in zona reticulata, the innermost zone. 